Hey, man, are you single? No. No? No, I actually have two girlfriends. Uh, when was the last time you made love? Two weeks ago. <laughs> That's yeah, like man. 20 weeks less than me. Would you like to be a part of our dating game? Sure, sure, yeah, you sure? sure? Yeah, All right, let's I'm do done. it. Are you single? Uh, we want to set you up. Excuse me, handsome man, are you single? You're awesome. Would you like to be a part of a dating game in which you meet potentially the man of your dreams? Maybe you yeah. can have a one night stand, maybe you'll yeah. find a husband, maybe. Yeah, you only live once. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. All right, so we've just brought up all of our contestants from the street. The Bachelorette has not yet seen any of the bachelors. She's going to ask the men a series of questions, and based on their answers, we'll pick her favorite mate. This is how normal people fall in love on a show. All right, let's get started, guys. Let's do this. We have our lovely contestant here. What is your name, Bachelorette? My name is Teresa Teresa, ooh, you might not want to give your last name because someone might come and find you and kill you. Dave, can you introduce to us our bachelors? Bachelor number one, where are you from? I'm a quadrant Dominican, good afternoon. Holy oh. shit. He has the sexiest accent I've ever heard in my life. Bachelor number two, where are you from? Santiago de Chile. Oh, <laughs> what's up now, Dominica? Teresa, here's how it's going to work. I'm going to give you some questions to ask these bachelors, and at the end, when they've answered all of them, you're going to decide who you like the best. Is that cool? Sounds good. My favorite thing in the world is running. How would you ask me out? Bachelor number two, how would you ask her out? I would run behind her and uh, maybe run over her and uh, say, do you need any help? You would, you would run her over like like a that's, truck? That's what I was trying to say, yeah. Sorry for my English, dude. Yes. I don't think yeah. this is an English problem. Yeah, that's perfect English. <laughs> Bachelor number three. I would ask her to meet me at Central Park by the reservoir and have a nice, lovely jog, maybe around twilight time. That's the first non-disturbing answer we've gotten. Mm -hmm. I know. In an offensive accent, tell me one thing that's great about you. I like sushi, and I will prepare sushi for you after you, go, after you finish running. Yeah, that'll do. If I were your coffee, how would you take me? Oh, uh, yeah. I would take it with some nice brown sugar, maybe two creams. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Did Bachelor number three just have an orgasm on yeah. the stage? If she were your coffee, how would you take her? I would put it in another coffee mug, add some salt, and put it in a fish tank, because by the way she sounds, she sounds like a mermaid, super hot. What does it feel like <laughs> taking LSD on a Wednesday? If there was a movie made about your penis, what genre would it be? Science fiction. It's side of this world. Good save. <laughs> Bachelor number one. Animation. In animation, there's so many unexpected things and funny things that happen, so. Can you just indulge me for a moment and tell me one of the funny, unexpected things that happens with your penis? Uh, universally, they will go pop and then brown <laughs> again. It happens to me. I think it happens to other guys as well. So. Right. The time has come for you to decide which of these guys would you like to date. Will it be bachelor number one, bachelor number two, or bachelor <laughs> number three? I'm still sold on number three at Central Park. Wow. Number three. Wow. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. It's time to meet our winner. Winner, what is your name? Chris. Please meet in the center. Please get Say up. hello to one another. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <I love it. laughs> We actually have uh, a prize for you. Right here, I have a $50 gift certificate to Friedman's Lunch. And yeah. Can you get a shot of that? Now, everybody smile like it's a picture. OK, I think we got it. We like to dance with the couple that we've now joined. Here we go, and we're dancing. All right, well, it's been a wonderful episode, this spicy Latin edition. Uh, Dave, you want to say any parting words? Mom, I love you. I'm sorry about what you walked in on. Not the time or place, but goodbye, everybody. We'll see you for the next episode. Thank you for watching our majestic show. All right, that's enough, Bjork. If you'd like to watch more episodes, you can subscribe to Above Average. And you should. I'm sorry. Subscribe to Dave and Ethan also. I'd love Bjork. I don't love you.